here compared to the first person view. Look at how much detail is in this right here, man. You guys see this? Look at this, man. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another Let's Go to Work episode. Um, today we'll get a chance to be a pilot. I hope you guys are going to enjoy that. And uh, yeah, I finally got a chance to sleep in this crib, man. One of our favorite crib right now, for real. But you guys seen it? If you guys haven't seen this crib yet, make sure to check that out on that last, not not really last episode, a couple of episodes ago. Uh, the last, you know, the the one where we broke that glass and fell in the pool. <laughs> but um. This view over here, man, is everything. Yes, we do have other people living here. Just how, just like our last crib, though, man. But you guys, let me know how you guys feel about this spot, and let me guys show you. I mean, let me show you guys a better view. Look at this, man. I know we still haven't filled up the garage yet, but crib is everything, man. And the view too. All right, but anyway, we gotta go. We have to go right now. Um, let's start with our day. We do have to pass by the um, downtown crib to pick up our suit since we didn't bring it with us. But we do have a flight in a couple of hours. And man, today I got a chance to. You know what? Might be like the next day for you guys, but I got a chance to hear about like how Dodge is gonna get rid of the Hellcats and you know all that. They are switching to EV. You guys let me know how you guys feel about that, man. I know there's a lot of companies switching to EV, but man, are you guys ready for that? I mean, it's not anytime soon. We're looking at 2024, but man, I am not ready. Come on, man. I didn't even get a chance to get one of these either. You hear that wine, though? Come on, Dodge. Come on, man. All right, but anyway, we're going to the crib. We got to pick up this Lambo, which I, I plan on driving today. But um, this Lambo happens to be right over here. Oh, we got to go all the way around just to pick it up. Yep, I'm cutting you off, bro. Oh man, that first person view. I see why some of you guys enjoy this, man. This is supposed to be the Fast and the Furious Eight um, Challenger over here. Oh, trying to keep this thing straight. Took me a while, though. It took me a while. It's been a while since we got a chance to drive this, too. Uh, nah, I don't need to stop for gas anymore. You guys let me know. Compared to the other sound that I've been using, which one is your favorite? I mean, I feel like this one might be it for me. Especially with the wine just being so loud like this, too. But the Lambo sound is about to be extremely loud, guys. I hope you guys are ready for this. So I'm giving you guys the warning. Headphone users, get ready. It's been a while since I used that Aventador sound, but yeah, man. All right, so we should be there soon, though. Come on. Wait, I thought the other crew was like right next to the Mafias, though. Yes, I think it is. Come on, people. Come on, come on, come on. As long as I don't crash this thing, I'm good. So this thing is in the bag, so I'm gonna have to push. Uh, I'm gonna have to drive through something right now. Come on, yeah, we did we did some good first person view with this today, man. Yeah, there's so many of these Infinities driving without no place. As I was saying, I'm gonna have to drive through this. All right, I get to be a pilot today, man. I didn't I didn't mean to I didn't mean to scratch up um, the Hellcat like that. AKA Demon. <laughs> we here though. Are we good? Oh, okay, I thought we I thought the pavement was too low. <laughs> Alright, we good, we good, we good. Alright, some of you guys probably seen this crib already. Some of you guys probably haven't seen this crib. But um let's go inside. Let me see if I pass by the garage, it's just gonna open up so you guys get a chance to see the cars. I think we have a McLaren in there too. Oh, we. Oh, the McLaren went through this like that, man. Come on, just stay right there. Now, this is. I haven't seen a wing on a, a Ventador like this. 
before. Like, look at this kit. Look at this kit. All right, you know what? We'll get a chance to drive it in a second. Let me show you guys this crib real quick. Pilot job today, man. I hope you guys are going to enjoy that. Now, this crib is a little bit lower than the last one, as you guys can see. I mean, you still got a view, though. You still got a view. We can actually view our house. No, we can't. We can't. I can't really see my other house on the right side. But, um, yeah, man, this is a vibe right here, man. Uh, I think this is the bathroom. I don't think that door will work. This is the bathroom over here. I'm just going to show you guys around real quick. This is one of the main places I wanted to show you guys. The kitchen right over here as we walk in. You can actually eat right here. The whole place is glass. Can you imagine, bro? Can you imagine this, bro? All right. So we got to go downstairs. I think downstairs kind of start everything. How you guys doing? Hey, what up, my nigga? Hi there. All right. As you guys can see, like most of the crib. Oh, this is not even a proper door. Okay. You guys didn't see that. Oh, look at look at this. Yo, look at this closet right here, man. We know what you guys think. Okay, what's back here? Oh, now I remember which crib this is. All right, so most of the doors for the bedrooms are locked. So I'm gonna show you guys from this side. All right, so we have a bedroom on top. So I ended up breaking the glass last time. I I remember this crib now. Yeah, you see this door is locked over here. This is our office. The door for upstairs is also locked, but you guys can actually see the bedroom from up there. And the view is a little bit lower than the last one. Where can we see the other curve from? Oh, we can. Look how they align right next to you. I mean, right on top of each other like this. Let me know what you guys think, man. Is this crib your favorite? You know what? Is this crib your favorite over the other one? Look at this view, too. This is nice, but this isn't a cut. Like you, uh, we definitely have our privacy with this one. I mean, we we do have glass, but probably only our neighbors can actually see us. I mean, these neighbors can actually see us. Look at this. Oh yeah, they can see us. Wow, they can see everything. All right, so this is like my crib right now, though. This is so funny. So my crib, like when you pull up up front of the crib, you can't see nothing, but. The neighbors can actually see everything in the house because it's like all glass like this. But I don't know, man. You guys let me know. But I feel like the front of it is so private. Like when you when you drive in, like you don't see anything. All right. But anyway, enough with this crib. Let's go. We got a flight to catch, man. I did get a chance to show you guys everything down here. So and we do have another bedroom down here. This dude stay here, I guess. What was that? I didn't break no glass, bro. No way. No way. I did not break any glass, bro. Where? You know what? This thing is pranking me right now. It's the floor glass. Oh, shoot. All right, I'm done. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I, yo, I swear I did not break any glass. <laughs> Yo, I cannot show up to East Crib without breaking any glass, bro. All right, Lambo headphone users. I think I might have to put my volume down though. But definitely, headphone users, please lower your volume. I'm gonna lower my volume too, and listen to this. You guys ready? Probably the loudest, and we can actually move the wing a little bit too. Oh, no way. Let me see. I'm trying to find the other button to move it. Oh, that's it. Okay. I think we're ready. All right, let's do this. All right, just like I said, I was gonna lower the volume a little bit. Cause I already know this thing is probably about to be louder than my voice. Are we gonna have to push this thing out of the way again? Yes, we are. All right, we're probably gonna have to scratch up the front of the Lambo. But um, you know, I'll leave the Hellcat right here. I'm not sure. I didn't see the badge. I'm guessing that's a demon or a Hellcat. Yo, till today I still can't tell. <laughs> I mean, I know, I know what the badge is supposed to look like, but when it's on badge, you really don't know unless you hit a car. All right. How bad was the scratch? 
Ah, it was easy. Okay. All right, so guys, we got to go straight to the crib, which is right over here. This thing is so loud. My headphone is cutting off. Let's go. Neighbors coming out right now. Oh, okay. Let me find somebody want to race. Yo, that event that event to a single clutch though, man, is everything. It just you can't drive this every day. This is raw, like for real, raw. Like if 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 you guys hear about Aventadors, especially for a single clutch um car like this, uh, this thing is is really rough. Like as you slowing down, as you speeding up, yo, they kind of make it feel real in the game right now. I'm trying to avoid this dude. Oh my goodness. Trying to go around y'all, man. I should have taken this on the highway. All right, for Oh my. Oh, we see a Ferrari. Let's go. Definitely the right Ferrari to race too. You want to race, bro? Oh, we got to Oh, we got to race from the wrong. They're Infinity's racing. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. The Infinity racing us. All right, it is what it is. The Infinity run a race. Come on, man. Oh, that was a cop. That was a cop. All right, I did not want want to race the Infinity, but it is what it is. I ain't, I'm still not losing though. I don't even need to see it because that that was not even a challenge, bro. That was not even a challenge. It's just gonna tell me that I won. That was not even a challenge. All right, we gotta go change, put a suit on or something like that. Come on, man. I wanted to race that Ferrari. Uh, so the question for you guys is, uh, should we replace our roadster with this? I feel like this is so mean. This is so mean, guys. Like, uh, you know what? I'm going to start the roadster so you guys can actually hear it. But this this thing is mean, like for real. I'm I would drive this. I mean, not every day, but this is a car show. This is this is special compared to the roaster. The roaster, I mean, we could drop the top and all that. But look at look look at the difference between the two, man. I don't know. That kit, that kit kind of the, I don't know. Some of you guys might not not might not like the spoiler like that, but I like it. <laughs> like come on, man. Come on. Come on. All right. We still got a flight to catch, guys. I might end up doing two flights. We'll see. It just depends on how much time we have. All right, let's go upstairs. Uh, we got to change the suit and all that. But oh, oh, let me actually start the roaster. Does the sound still work? I hope it does. You guys get a chance to see. Okay, about the same sound. Sometimes that sound don't even start. Like for real. Look at this. You see the difference though. Look pretty simple. I like this. I like this because it's a drop top. But um, you guys, let me know. Should we leave it in here compared to the first person view? Look at how much detail is in this right here, man. You guys see this? Look at this, man. All right. Anyway, enough about comparing right now. Let's go. We gotta go upstairs. Change. Uh, do we need to eat? Yes, we do need to eat. We do need to eat right now. Go upstairs. And I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm not sure when I'm going to be posting this. Uh, I hope you guys are having a great day. Or whenever you guys are watching this, of course. But other than that, uh, let's go do our job. We got to take a flight. All right. Let's go. We are ready. Let's go. Hey, we get to eat from home, man. You know, we see like sometimes you was thinking like, oh, I'm about to eat out and then you end up passing by the house. You're like, oh, shoot. Yeah, I could just eat home, man. I don't have to spend no more money. That's it. Let's go. Oh, we do have to go grocery shopping, guys. Remember? You good? Yeah, I forgot to grab the stuff, though. Oh, we, we still got the. You know what? We still have those. Maybe we'll eat like three of those and then we should be fine. I think two might make it 90 90. Oh, two works. All right, guys, time to take off flight. I, you know what? Sometimes I like to just stop and look at this view. 
look at this view right here, man. I don't know. I haven't had a place that looked like this. I mean, other than my Coney Island, I remember I used to live in Coney Island and we used to have a place that we, we were on top of the building, but man, this is different. This is beautiful, man. We were looking at Coney Island, but we couldn't see uh, like the city like that. But man, this is beautiful. This is nice. We can even, we can actually see the wheel over there too, man. Look at that. Wow. All right, but anyway, guys, let's go. We got a flight to catch. Uh, I hope you guys all going to enjoy, um, you know, a regular day. I'm trying to bring the let's go to work daily, man. We'll see what we're gonna do tomorrow. I mean, we got Thanksgiving coming up and stuff. Maybe we'll give us some free turkey or something like that. Maybe we'll go to dinner. I don't know. I mean, not dinner, but you know, go get something to eat from the family. But you know, what you guys usually do for Thanksgiving? Let me know. Did it bring me back? I don't know what just happened. I think it brought me back upstairs. Yes, it did. Come on. All right, I got to go back downstairs. Yeah, so what you guys usually do on Thanksgiving, man? Let me know. I usually try my best to spend it with the family, of course. Somebody's always cooking something good, man. Somebody always cooking. All right, but anyway, let's go. We got a flight to catch. And we got a nice limbo to drive. Hopefully there's no cops outside like that. We're ready. Look at this thing, man. I feel like this would be like my stunting day, like for real. Let's go. All right, so we heading straight to the airport, guys. Let me see the best way to head to the airport right now. We're going like right here. All right. Oh my goodness, that's a cop on the left. He didn't see me though. Oh, he's busy. He's too busy. He's too busy doing this thing. Let's go. We got a. I mean, not really a full tank of gas, but we got enough gas just to push this. Anything over a hundred, they will trying to arrest us. Like, come on, man. We're trying our best just to enjoy the road. And if I see a cop, I'm stopping. Let's go. All right, we just make it making it to the airport. Let's slow down. Let's enjoy the road. But definitely let me know what you get how you guys feel about like, you know. We're not gonna have no more Hellcat, no more new Hellcats. Like after twenty twenty four, man. I hope they change that. We still got man. We still got two years to go. Like, <laughs> come on, man. Actually, three. But <laughs> you know, after twenty twenty four, they're just gonna be like, okay, this is it, man. This is it. All right, but anyway, we are here. Let's take a flight. All right, at least they got us flying this plane, man. I actually have enjoyed flying this plane over here, but um, we might have to fly some bigger planes soon, guys. By the way, guys. All right, we are ready for takeoff. I don't want to show this lady again, but let's go. Everybody's ready for takeoff. Go. Cool, let's see. Actually, sooner or later, I'll, I'm gonna try my best to fly like with a different type of weather, guys, because I feel like we're always flying sunny weather. It's not that windy. The flight is always so smooth. Oh, okay. I take that back. It is windy <laughs> and cloudy. A, li a little bit, though. A little bit. We ain't gonna feel it because I'm gonna try my best to um, fly to the other side. And we're probably gonna try to stay around 25,000, 30,000. And uh, I think this should be a smooth, not really that smooth since it's that windy. But you know what? It's because I'm flying really low. So let's get up there. I'm trying to get up there, man. I feel like lately, especially all the pilots that 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 usually um that I'm I'm usually on a plane with, for some reason, man, they do not slow down whatsoever. And they, you know, and also they know how to avoid the weather. Like let's say if they pass in somewhere they know it's raining or whatever the case is, they try their best to stay on top. But right now, as you guys can see, we we're just gonna try our best to turn around and uh, trying to land this thing smoothly. And uh, yeah, man, 
Like today, today was a great day. Today was a good flight. Let me know how you guys feel about like, you know, the Hellcats and stuff like that. But other than that, I was thinking about like, you know, I need to actually bring them more to like, you know, episodes. But uh, let's see. We're going to try our best to land this thing safely, but I don't know for some reason I'm always missing that location. I just want to make sure that I align well today. I want a smooth landing today, guys. As you guys can see, once we get up there, we'll align it and then we should be all set. How many of you guys? Um, no pilot or at least trying to get your pilot license and all, and all that stuff, man. Because I see a lot of you guys do enjoy the pilot job and also a lot of you guys do play flight simulator. I haven't touched flight simulator since like the older version back in like 2007. Maybe that's when they used to have like the three this, but um, I don't know. A lot of you guys have been telling me the newer flight simulator is so much better and also you can actually see your actual house. All right, so I think we're ready, ready to align this thing. Yo, look how the plane got dirty too. Oh, it was just cloud. Oh no, that was just a cloud. Wow, I think it's so realistic sometimes, man. Can you imagine how GTA Six is gonna be, guys? If they did that good with GTA Five, man. That's why we. I mean, some. I know some of you guys are mad at um, Rockstar for what they did with the trilogy. I was kind of expecting more, though. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I was expecting a little bit more, but it is what it is. Now it's about that time. They need to just finish GTA six and give it to us for real. <laughs> We've been raiding, man. We've been raiding for far too long now. Oh, that that is a smooth landing, guys. We got it. Oh, we're not on the ground. Okay, we got it. We got it. We're gonna taxi our way over there. And I think yeah, this was a good flight, except for the turning. You know, this was a good flight. All right, I think this is the spot. That it? There you go. All right. So anyway, now I'm back. What? How much they gave me? Two hundred and eighty dollars. All right. So we're just gonna take one flight for today, guys. But um, our time is up too. I hope you guys all going to enjoy today's episode. Let me know how you feel about the Lambo, the Hellcats. I mean, the D I think it was a demon that I was driving to. You guys, let me know. But other than that. I think we're all out of here, man. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. We'll catch you guys next time, man. Peace.